My question is to you, which would you get? The UV-17R or the UV-7B? This is RF Radio Network. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from RF Radio Network and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the UV-7B radio. And um, I've already done a quick preliminary look of it before I got it, and um, I'm concerned. But we're gonna do an unboxing of it. It's already fully charged, by the way, because we're gonna do stick it on the spectrum analyzer. Here is the radio. <clears throat> and uh, what does it look like to you? Does it look like anything to you? Does it look like a radio that I've already done before? And if you say the GM30 Pro, you'll be actually incorrect. I mean, it kind of looks like it, but it's actually not. It actually looks like you, the UV-17R. And the antenna is the same as the GM30 Pro. See, the same antenna. <laughs> but it's the same radio as the 17R. They both have the flashlight on the bottom. The only differences between the two, I'll let you hear it. Channel mode. Welcome. Channel mode. Female, male. Non Bluetooth, Bluetooth. They're the same freaking radio. <laughs> So let's continue with the unboxing. It comes with a power brick, earpiece, lanyard, and type A to type C cable for your charger. No more docking stations. I guess you can get them. It has the capability of it. And the 17R and the 7B are identical in terms of the way they look. They will fit. <clears throat> so if you have the docking station for the 17R, the UV-17R, it'll work with the UV-7B. They're the same radio, except one is old school, and this is the new. So without further ado, let's check out the power of this son of a gun. Frequency mode. So you press and hold the green button on the left to get into frequency mode. So we're going to go to one. Three. Th whoops. One, three, six. Zero, zero, zero. Let's see if it actually could... We're on 136. Wow! What? Six watts? Wait a minute. What is this advertised as? Is this a 10 watt radio? UQSY810. I am testing out the UV7B radio about, uh, about, about, from a bow fang. How does this radio sound? A one zero three zero nine here. You're sounding pretty good with a little static behind you. All right, copy that. Yeah, I'm actually downstairs uh, using their the antenna that came with it. Obviously, um, I usually do all my tests from this location, just for you know, just for testing purposes. And uh, if it's coming in staticky, that it is what it is. Thank you. Yeah, but if you were outside, you sound a lot better, but for being downstairs, it's good. All right, well, I did what you asked. I'm outside. How do I sound now? Sounding better. All right, that's awesome. All right, cool. You're going to be on the YouTube video, my friend. Six watts? What? No. I, I don't even know what it's advertised as. Well, I guess we'll find out. Wow, just at 6 watts at 136. Let's do 140 one, foot. Four, four, zero, zero, zero. So we're at 144, zero, zero, zero. Transmit. Wow, 6 watts on the nose. That's impressive. Wow. Let's do... 1, 4, 6, 5, 2, 0. Which we're going to test on the signal, on the... Uh, Spectrum analyzer. Six watts. Okay, 
So this is steady, six watts through, let's do 148. One, four, eight, zero, zero, zero. Six, five, ninety, five, ninety-five. Actually, this is actually really good. <clears throat> Ah, there we go. So 4.75 on UHF. <clears throat> so... Four, three, three, zero, zero, zero. Look at that, 4.8. <clears throat> so the typical radio is supposed to be higher on VHF and lower on UHF. That's the way it's supposed to be. Higher on UHF and lower on VHF is weird. <laughs> so, let's try... Four, four, nine, nine, five, zero. Top of the band of ham. Four, 4.92. So we're just doing simplex, we're not doing a negative shift because then it'll drop it down. So, interesting. This is... This is an uh, interesting power output on this radio. Um, I want to check out more about it. I'm more interested about, uh, like, what frequencies it actually could, you know... Oh, what are we doing? We've got to do that. So let's power that thing up. The Rigol. And take a look. Because I'm, I'm actually very interested. This is... Uh, I'm curious. <laughs> because the 17R was dirty as garbage. It was just a splatter box. It, it just had so much noise. We can revisit it here if you like. We could do that. But I'd really like to test out this radio because that's what this is about. But they are the same radio, which is really weird. One with wireless CPS, one without. A whole new radio and a whole new model number, which makes no sense. I don't understand why they're doing that. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what this thing could do. I'm curious. So let's make sure this is on 146. One, four, six, five, two, zero. Here we go. <clears throat> Let me confirm. 146. 520 transmit god this is not good people it's not even it's not even legal to transmit in the United States and I'm not sure what they are doing so it's the same that's exactly this that's the same output as the 17R they just rebranded re it My God, look at that. One, two, three, four. So the fourth harmonic, <laughs> there's no third, but the, for some reason there's a fourth harmonic. Is that if we tuned to 293.040 and we talked on that, we would actually hear the audio. All right, let's transmit again and do max hold. So as we're seeing on this image, this is horrific. This is absolutely horrific. Um, it's it's only negative. It's just it's about eight negative eighteen dB between the first harmonic and the fundamental frequency. So this radio is illegal to transmit on or in the United States. However, no one's really looking at this, but it is close. So what did we say, the negative 20 dB, uh, negative 20 decibels on this? So we have to subtract 100 milliwatts from the output. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. And we have to, sub I mean, then we have to subtract minus 35 dB and stuff like that. I mean, again, it's minuscule. It's really small amounts of power that we have to remove from the fundamental frequency. However, 
it's really, it's underperforming for sure. So it's supposed to be, I mean, it's showing on UHF more power than VHF. So VHF is under 5 watts. So this is a 5 watt radio. Now, if I took this thing off and plugged in the 17R, would it look the same? Do you want to see it? Do you want to just see, just for craps and ha-has? I take that as a yes. So, so we will do that. So let me go to... One, four, six, five, two, eight. What? One, four, six, five, two, zero. Fat finger syndrome. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a different trace. And we're going to overlay it with this one. Ready? Here we go. It'll be, it'll be uh, magenta. It's just about the same <laughs> transmission. Look at that. It's like a mirror image of itself. This radio and that radio is the same. The only difference is one's got, one's got Bluetooth, one's got a, a male voice, and the other one's got a female voice. And the menu structure on this is better, and this has wireless CPS, and that doesn't. It's the same radio, just different software. That's all it is. The UV7B and the UV17R are the same. One is with Bluetooth, one is without. That is it. Because that proves that it's the same damn radio. The Spectrum Analyzer proves it out. There we go. However, if you are a fan of the 17R and you wish to God it had wireless CPS, then look no further. You have the UV7B is at your service if you wanted this radio. I'll have a link in, in the description below to purchase this radio if you want this one with wireless CPS because the 17R does not have wireless CPS. And there's your options, my friends. You can have a 17R without Bluetooth connectivity or you can use the 7B with uh, wireless CPS and use the walkie-talkie app to program this radio from your cell phone. However, you can still use Chirp to program this radio. To use Chirp, you must use the 17 Pro GPS profile in order to download or upload the code plug to this radio. So that just confirms that this is using the same protocol to communicate. My question is to you, which would you get? The UV17R or the UV7B? Which one is the one for you? Do you want Bluetooth or do you do not want Bluetooth? The menu structure on this is sick. It's the way, it's the same as the UV5R Mini. They're just moving it, they're rebranding the radios. As you know, we rebranded the, uh, the channel as RF Radio Network. Now, the reason why it's called Network is because you are my network. You're, the ne you're my network of people that I'm, I'm helping out. So it's RF radio, and you're on my network. That's the reason. Okay. So, we're at the conclusion of this video. The UV17 Pro GPS is identical to the UV7B. The only difference is Bluetooth, no Bluetooth. Old school menu system, new school menu system. Which radio do you want? Please comment below and let me know what you would want the 7b or the 17r this is joe tech with rf radio network and remember we are connecting people through the power of radio take care and we'll see you next time